everybody Ann here sitting in front of the chicken yards having my coffee with all of you and uh, today is the day that Miss Donna arrives so we'll show you all that stuff uh, not in this video maybe tomorrow maybe the next day I'm not sure she's gonna be here for a couple days and then she goes back on Saturday Saturday morning so I have some big news for you guys so guess who went broody look who's gone broody again I'm pretty sure she's broody again because last night she was sitting on the nest very early. She was making her clucking sounds, her nervous little clucking sounds, and now she's on the nest. She won't let anybody else in here. So I went ahead. There's 10 eggs in there. I've marked them all, and I'm gonna see if maybe I can just take her out of this box, take any eggs that's in there, and see if I can get her to sit on this other nest here. Look at that, she doesn't even care. She's getting all flattened out. And there's no eggs yet laid today, so I'm going to go ahead and close this, and hopefully she'll just stay in here. The brooder area is set, and Miss Pris shows absolutely zero signs of moving. <sighs> Poor girl. Now, you may be asking me, and why are you letting that hen go broody again? Well, because it's God's will. I'm not going to pull her off that nest only for her to get back on it and keep trying to set on it. I'm not going to keep removing the eggs because she wants to hatch out some more baby chicks. Probably the last time this season, I'm thinking. And I'm not going to do the things that have been suggested, you know, put her in a box for a while or, you know, throw cold water on her, dip her in cold water, whatever. I'm not going to do any of that. If God wants her to be broody and to hatch out some more chicks, I'm going to let her do it. Um, it's going to start getting hot again, so I'm going to have to put a fan inside the van um, and that's not going to be a problem. I'll just hook it up to uh, the outside solar and just put it in there so that she can kind of stay a little bit cool. Um, but yeah, <laughs> she's gone broody. I'm pretty sure. I'm 99.9% .9 sure. <laughs> Where are you at? There you are. <laughs> Um, I'm pretty sure that she's broody again because she just went in and started sitting in the box last night and she has not left So I took her out of the file cabinet like you saw and put her in the brooder box So I won't have to make that transition later. So ooh, what do I have on my nose? Oh sweat um, So we'll just see how it goes. Guess what? I went to the mailbox and I got a Prezi So you know what time it is? I gotta open this and I don't have my tripod with me so I'm just gonna stab it and I'm gonna rip it and open it <laughs> let's see what is in here oh let's I got the note first let's read the note enjoy your gift from Tina F you said that uh, there was one more thing coming this must be it hold on let me get it oh I think I know what it is it was the other thing that was on my wish list yep BBs. More BBs. I am going to be the BB shooting granny. Oh, this is great. Um, like I said, I had these on my wish list. 350 are in there and that's going to be plenty, I think. Um, although I'm a bad shot, but I don't need to be a good shot because I'm just trying to scare away hawks and stuff like that. Oh no, I'm thinking of going squirrel hunting. Hmm. Thank you so much, Tina. You have given me some great gifts lately. All of that stuff in that wood splitter and ah, uh, I love you. Thank you so much. Roxy, what are you doing in here? You better not be going broody too. Oh my goodness. Oh, Miss Pris is still in there, all flattened out. I guess you decided you want to lay your egg in here today. Whatever. Huh. Well, Roxy was just in here. I wonder if Miss Pris put that other egg underneath of her. I don't know, but... It looks like Coco's next, so I'm not gonna disturb her and mark the eggs, cause I'll include them in this batch until this one gets done doing her thing. Roxy and Coco have both been in here and gone. I don't see any eggs down there. I wonder if she took them. So I'm gonna lift her off, count the eggs, and if there's new eggs, then I'll mark them, and then after today, no more new eggs. Looks like she did put one of these eggs underneath of her. No, nope, that's a new one. I think that's a Roxy egg. So, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. I might let her go one more. 
I'll check her tomorrow morning. If there's one more egg, then I will let her sit on 12. Well, Coco did just lay an egg. So I'm gonna go ahead and mark this one and put it in there with Miss Briss and see if she'll accept it. Here you go, girlfriend. Oh, just put it right here. And if you wanna take it underneath it, you can. I'll check on you later. Yep, she took it. <laughs> I caught it just in time. I'm gonna leave this open so she can get a little air in here. That's a good girl, Miss Pris. You're such a good mama. No sooner than I put that egg down than she just took her beak and just pushed it up underneath of her. And I just barely caught the tail end of it. So that's pretty awesome, you know? And I think this is a blessing. I think God is blessing me. I have not had to use that incubator one single time. Not once. This is the third time Miss Pris has gone broody. And I'm just going to go with it, you know? I'm just going to go with it. I don't need to get all worked up over it anymore. If she wants to hatch out eggs, she can hatch out baby chicks. And the back of the van, that little uh, chicken coop thing that Donna gave me is the perfect solution for this whole process. And she's perfectly happy sitting back in there and hatching the eggs out in there. So, yeah, like I said, I'm going to get a fan in there. I might not need it tomorrow, um, but the next day, definitely, because it's going to get pretty hot. So I feel pretty blessed, you know? I'm just gonna let her do her thing and see how many chickens I end up with. Oh my gosh. So I don't know, I'm feeling pretty good about it. And if they do hatch out, they will hatch out days before my birthday. So that's gonna be wonderful. Anyhow, um, I said at the beginning of the video that um, Miss Donna is getting here like tomorrow or yesterday or today or whatever. She, this video will actually be posted a day after she gets here. Okay, so I did the shorts video yesterday. Anyhow, I think you understand. We're kind of like a day out, whatever. So um, by the time you see this, hopefully she will be here safe and sound with her daughters and I'll get to see Judy again and we'll pick out a project or two to do around here. I think it's going to be revolving around the chickens. I really do. Um, so, I don't know, I'm kind of excited. It's been a good day. Um, it's been a busy day and I had to clean out the van, put new bedding and do all that stuff, um, today too. So I got that taken care of. And, uh, let's just all say a prayer that Miss Pris, uh, does this okay and she doesn't get too hot back there. And we have 12 beautiful new baby chickens. And the eggs that I selected... I did not select any of her eggs because the eggs that she's been laying right now have been really small. And so I picked all cocoa eggs because I want the nice big chickens um, and Roxy eggs because I would love it if I would actually get a hen that looks like a barred rock. You know, um, Rocky is beautiful. He is. Um, he's not a very charming rooster yet, though. I think he needs to to learn a few things, but I would love to have a few more barred rock hens because they're just so delightful and they're so cute. So hopefully we'll get a few of those. If not, they'll just all be black chickens and um, they lay big, beautiful brown eggs. So I'm looking forward to that. Um, so I don't know if anybody lives near me and you want some baby chickens. Well, in 21 days, we're going to have some baby chickens. Anyway, that's all I got for you guys today. See you in the next video. Thanks for watching everybody. I hope you enjoyed the video. Make sure you like, subscribe, hit the bell, and y'all have a good one.